Now, pay close attention. This isn't something you see every day. Feast your eye. All right, welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about the G.I. Joe Classified Series Copperhead. And I've been waiting for this guy for a long, long time. I had the original when I was a kid with the water moccasin. And let me tell you something, it was awesome then. And I think they did a really good job with this guy now. But let's take a look at this packaging real quick. And I'll just keep it quick. I like the fact that they did the little artwork right here. Looks like he's cutting through some trip wires or whatever that's supposed to be in front of him. Maybe some tall grass. I don't know. Kind of looks maybe a net. Um, whatever the case it is, this is the same piece of artwork that is inside when you open up the figure inside the box where Copperhead is actually tied down to on the inside. I like the little picture of the figure here along with the Cobra Temple back there or some sort of temple. But I think that's supposed to be the Cobra Temple back there. And then here's the same type of art here on this side here. And then you got the figure in the back with all of his accessories. And he is number 72 in the line. And then you have the QR code that you can scan and it'll give you all the biometrics and everything on this guy. So with all that being said, as quick as I possibly could, let's get this guy out of the box and let's take a look at Copperhead. All right, so now that we got Copperhead out of the box, and before we take a look at this figure and his accessories, I just want to say one thing. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do this um, and during this review. And for everyone who's watching, if you get a chance, go to the theaters or wait till it comes out on TV or whatever on some sort of streaming platform and watch the movie called The Sound of Freedom. My wife and I went and watched that movie yesterday. Fabulous movie. This movie was made five years ago. It has a lot of controversy behind it. And they tried to keep it from coming out. It's a movie you need to watch. If you're a parent, not a parent. If you're just a human being, you gotta watch this movie. I'm not gonna go into it and tell you what it is. But please, go check it out. It is an exceptional movie. It's a, it's a hard watch. And I don't mean that it's a hard watch because it's horrible. I mean it's a hard watch because of what the movie is about. Especially if you're a parent, grandparent, or even if you're not, even if you're just a brother or sister. Just anyway, just go watch the movie. Check it out. Enough of my rambling on that. Let's get in and take a look at this figure because that's what we're here for. So like I said, I never really do that, so I apologize ahead of time. So let's take a look at Copperhead. Look at the paint sculpt on this guy. Beautiful. I love the way they did the helmet. It is such, such a nostalgic feeling looking at this figure. Because, I mean, it just reminds me of the original from back when I was a kid. And, you know, if they would have made a water moccasin, that would have been cool. But it would probably cost us to get this figure. It would probably cost us like four or five hundred bucks. Let's be real. I mean, look at the his tank. And the dragonfly, yes, I backed the dragonfly because of Wild Bill. Uh, and that's always been my favorite vehicle, the uh, dragonfly. So, yeah, I did back that one. And it wasn't as expensive as the his tank. Shouldn't be crowdfunding anything because Hasbro is a multi-billion dollar company, but I'm not getting into that. They do what they do, and that's how they do, so let's move on. Um, <clears throat> all right, I love the fact the way they did the um, straps for the uh, uh, holster right here, his shoulder holster for his gun or, or whatever is supposed to be in there, but it's, it's his little tiny pistol, probably like a one-shot or something like that. I love the silver cobra emblem. They kept that to where it should be. His tank top, beautiful. Down to the gloves, the straps. These do move up and down. Uh, so when you are posing them, they will slide up and down on you. The belt, look at that skull. I know, kind of reminds me of uh, the one that Zartan has on his belt. I know they're different, but they did a great job with that. Then his cod piece right here. And then going over to his leather holster on the side and then the back, I mean, just beautiful. I mean, I love the way they did. Everything is reminiscent of the original figure. Everything. And this is not his holster. This is the sheath for his machete. And then this is the holster for his pistol. And then, of course, he comes with another one that plugs into the back for that uh, uh, <laughs> Colt Python that he comes with. With, with the, uh, with, the uh, um, <laughs> with the sight on it. And then all the way down to his boots. I think that's really cool. Um... And they didn't, they didn't do anything with the buckles. And I'm okay with that um, because, well, you know, hey, I don't think he had that on, on the original. But it's been such a long time since I've owned that figure. Um, yeah, uh, beautiful. 
just absolutely, absolutely beautiful this figure is. I think he's cool. I am happy that they made him. I think, uh, in my opinion, I think they're a little late on making him. I think they should have made him earlier in the line. I think that we need to get more and more of the original figures before we start getting, um, you know, a bunch of these other repaints. And I mean, how many snake eyes do we need? I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, we only got the, what, the two storm shadows and we have like a million different types of snake eyes out there. But this guy, he is, he is, I mean, he, his, his joints aren't like extremely stiff. He moves very well. Um, I do like the fact that, uh, that they made him. See, here you go. This just, just slides right down. I mean, you could probably take these off if you don't want them on them. Me, I just, I just move them up because they, oh, and before I forget, <laughs> there is his, uh, Ace of Spades on his forearm tattoo, which I thought was pretty cool because he, you know, he's a gambler and that's why he joined Cobra, right? To get some of his, uh, debts paid off or whatever the case. I think that, uh, me trying to pose this guy while I'm talking to you guys is 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 actually turning out to be pretty well. I mean, he moves really well. I mean, look at this guy. And that's only just one pose, you know, to, to, to get him in. I'm going to try and do a couple other ones um, before we actually get into uh, taking a look at his accessories. But even with, with putting his hands up, right? They just keep sliding down. But anyway... Um, yeah, I mean, he, you know, it'd been cool if he would have come with some fists, you know, just a couple of different alternate hands. I mean, I wish they all would have, really. But that's cool. I mean, you know, you can still get this pose down with him, right? It's it's a it's a it's a quick little pose. Um, you know, I'm gonna try this. I haven't done this in a while, and I'm trying to be quick about it to show off. I mean, I'm not going through the articulation anymore because I know a lot of people were like, you know, that's the most boring part of the review so they kind of skip through it so i'm just kind of you know i mean look man, you guys you guys are the uh you guys are the, the the reason why i do this so i'm listening so i'm just trying to uh give you guys what you want and that is something fresh something new something different so where that way you guys um aren't bored with it so i i do apologize i'm not the greatest at posing while <laughs> i'm on camera normally i do this off camera but, I mean, look, if I'm going to put him into a, kind of like he's, he's like stomping towards somebody right now, right? I mean, not too bad. Get him to look up a little bit. Give him a little bit more, uh, but yeah, there you go. Not too bad. Put him in a little bit of a walk right there, right? Like he's kind of stomping at somebody. This guy, I, I'm, just, I'm just, like I said, I can't say enough good things. They, Hasbro has done a fabulous job with this figure. Just like Rock and Roll, just like Torpedo. Bazooka, the original Bazooka wasn't too bad. There was only maybe like a minor thing with him. But but I can, like I said, I can overlook that minor thing because it doesn't really stand out so much. But they are doing much better when it comes to this quality control. And to me, that's awesome. So they, they have been listening to the fans um, of this line. You, me, everybody who is buying these figures, they, they, they're listening, they're getting there. Uh, should it have ever happened? No, but you know, like everything else, shit happens, right? I mean, I'm not condoning what they've done and how they just kind of like, oh, oh well, I, I don't think that's correct, but I'm just saying, if they're making it better and they're doing better, then so be it. So there you go, there he is with a kick. And um, all right, so enough of my posing this guy out and uh stuff let's 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 take a look at his accessories let me get him situated um and let's start looking at his accessories so give me a second to get him situated let's look at the accessories and let's end this review all right so let's get in taking a look at the accessories so i mean this guy i mean look he just has a lot of charisma this figure does um for a guy who's actually in a helmet you can get a lot of expression out of him with head tilt just the way, I mean, even in the cartoon, he was a little bit of a cocky uh, character. Uh, he's from the Florida Everglades. I forgot to mention that. He just, he's just a crazy character. And I, I, I think that he could have been used a lot more back in the day than what he was. But still, you can use him however you want. And that's a fact. So anyways, with that being said, 
let's take a look at this. Uh, first, he comes with this little pistol right here. And it's nice. It's just black plastic. Uh, no real peg hole in there for any fire effects or anything like that. But still, nice little, little handgun. And that is going to slide right here into this holster right here. Let's move this hand out of the way. Right into the holster right here. And then you can actually peg this in. <laughs> Mine, like I said, I just took them out of the box, so I haven't really uh, messed with this. So, but yeah, you can peg this in when you get a chance. Well, when I get a chance, I will peg it in and try and get this stay right now. It doesn't want to stay. If it will stay, I don't know. Um, and I don't know if I'm doing it right because I can't really tell because I'm trying to do it on camera. But there it goes. Normally, normally they, they stay. I think this one's going to back out because it's just not set. Okay, there we go. And I love the fact the way they did this leathery um, look for this holster. It's not that hard plastic. I think they did a really nice job with it. And this belt, this belt right here that, that sits here for his machete, I think that's great because they actually put a little bit of a glue on there to hold it in place so it doesn't slide. This one slides up and down. It doesn't have two straps on it. Uh, it's kind of like um, Torpedo's knife holster, just slides up and down a little bit, but not a big deal. It gets a little annoying when you're when you're trying to pose them, but otherwise, not too bad. All right, so let's move on to the next, and that is going to be. Let me get him set right here. Don't worry, I'm not going to turn it off to to reset him. All right, so next we have his uh, pouch for his Colt Python with the uh, actual sight on it. And once again, love that leathery look. I love the fact that they put the. Uh, bullets here on the side of the actual holster and once again this will plug in here um it'll peg in to hold that closed so since i'm showing this off here is the colt python mine was a little warped i was able to get it to straighten out a little bit by heating it up but that is a beautiful beautiful gun I like the fact that it needs a sight i don't think that i would put this um up to my I when I go to shoot it but you know hey the, the kick off of this gun is gonna be just crazy I mean you know he can get his Rick Grimes on all he wants all day long with this gun but they did a beautiful job with it and this bad boy is just gonna slide right in here like so am I putting it in the right way no you are not you're putting it the wrong way real nice okay so there you go now you put it in there and then you can peg this in I'm not gonna keep trying to peg it in because you know on camera but anyway this plugs into his back right here and there you go now he can yippee ki -yay all day long um if he wants to and anybody who's seen die hard they will catch those references that i'm throwing out there i'm just <laughs> i'm just being silly when it comes to it now another cool thing is his machete so this is very nicely done i'm glad that they didn't just make it all black i'm glad that they actually made a nice curve handle along with the finger grips in there. You have the blood groove going through and then you have the actual blade itself. I like the way that it's 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 flat on the end, but very well done. This was not warped whatsoever. This came very, very nice in the package. And it should, they all should, considering the fact that they, they said that the plastic packaging is what was causing the issue. Well, I don't know about all that, but. And then this can go in now, uh, this is, but should go in like that, but it's not. It's going to go in like so. Uh, come on, you can do it, man. All right, so that's going to go in, slide in to the sheath. Um, yeah, why is mine being difficult? Because it just has to be. There it is. So, yeah, very nice. Very well done. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to do a... Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a short with this guy uh, um, to to show off some of the stuff that he that you can actually do with him as far as um, posing wise. So, yeah, I mean, you have see it popped right back out. So you have his sidearm and then you have his machete right here where you can rest his hand on there just with his cocky look. And then if you tilt his head a little bit, get it down. You can have him like, yeah, like, what's up, fools? Like, this guy's ready to rock and roll. He's 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 ready to, you know, do.
do some do some damage with uh with the gear that he has he, he you know cobra has to pay him a lot of money because you know he's just one of those mercenary characters that uh definitely definitely is coming to do some serious damage at least that's my opinion all right so enough of my rambling let's take a look at some of uh some comparisons with some of the other figures in this line i only have a couple of them out and then uh yeah let's let's end this review starting off with the comparisons we have the gi joe classified rock and roll and definitely i can see these guys going toe to toe most definitely they look good i mean they look good this line is just fabulous i have to say hasbro man you guys are getting this stuff under control and you're doing it you're doing it listen i'm gonna say when it's good and i'm gonna say when it's bad and right now shit is good and here's how he compares to the gi joe classified series og bazooka and i like the fact that bazooka just seems just a little bit taller but also if you look at the build of bazooka compared to copperhead oh yeah bazooka's a big boy so I can see these guys going toe to toe as well. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know, man. Copperhead better come up with something good because Bazooka's a big, big boy. Last but not least, here's how he compares to the G.I. Joe Classified Series Torpedo. And toe to toe or not, Torpedo's gonna whoop <laughs> Copperhead's ass because he's highly trained. And I mean highly trained. I'm not saying that Copperhead's not. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but they don't have a whole lot of info on his training and stuff like that but torpedo yeah i i yeah he's he's gonna he's gonna take it home on that one and here is how copperhead looks with all three joes standing together everybody together i mean that looks great just great All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed some of the comparisons that I had with some of the figures out. Um, yeah, so yes, 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 yes. This guy is absolutely amazing. This line, Torpedo, Rock and Roll, even Bazooka. I'm still waiting on Shipwreck and a few others to come in. I can't wait till they make Quick Kick. Hopefully they make an Alpine. Hopefully they make Doc. Yeah, I'm hoping that they make, you know... Uh, iceberg oh yeah oh yeah and considering that we have now what the cobra eel that i missed out on and i'm still waiting on my dr mind bender stuff like that listen there was a little fumble a few fumbles along the way but they are restoring my faith in this line i don't want to see this line fail i want to see this line succeed and even though it is gi joe and we are getting some nostalgic figures here uh with the way that they are being made now still they are coming back and they're coming back strong and i got to give it to hasbro they're knocking them out of the park and until another one comes out that's kind of messed up or has issues well until that time then i'll call them out on that just like everybody else will but i have to say these figures are just fabulous these new ones that they've come out with this new line everything i am just yeah, this line is thriving again. I think that, uh, you know, they're, they're getting it under control. That's all I'm trying to say. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if it ran a little long. I apologize. Check out the short that I put up on Copperhead. And, uh, yeah, guys, if you like what I'm doing, you know, like, subscribe, share. Leave a comment down below. And, as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on anything new. And, guys, as always, I'll catch you all on the flippity-flip.